Okay, so I'll talk about something positive. Um, so this was something that cropped up on my uh, Twitter feed that I think was really cool to see. Uh, so from thanks to Niche Gamer that uh, they they had this article here about Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver HD Remaster mod now available. Um, like I say here, while the IP remains in limbo due to Square Enix selling off Crystal Dynamics, a fan made Legacy. Uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver HD Remaster was just released. Uh, uh, the new Soul Reaver HD Remaster painstakingly replaces all textures uh, in, the, uh, in the 1999 release game, making it look quite appealing on modern displays. Soul Reaver was the second game in the series that focuses on protagonist Raziel, seeking revenge against uh, eponymous, uh, eponymous series mainstay Kane. Uh game was available in modern times on Windows PC via Steam and GOG, but it was pulled for important updates and hasn't been relisted since. Specula speculation tends to mention this was likely due to the now confirmed Embracer Group buyout of Crystal Dynamics, who own the IP. And they do have a trailer here uh, checking this out. Now, I was trying to check out this mod myself to really see it and play it and stuff like that, but sadly... I, I'm still having a hell of a time trying to get the game to run. I'm hoping that they're going to relaunch it on GOG or maybe put out whatever important updates are needed to play on modern systems because I've just been having a pain in the backside time trying to play this um, game in general. I haven't even installed the mod. Um, I've done it. Well, no, that's not true. I've done it with an installed version. Tried to get it run. Wouldn't do it. And then got, um, and then I did a clean version of the game. Still couldn't get the game to run. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm probably doing something stupid. Who knows? I've tried a few things, but um, let's even kind of just check here. Oh, three minute trip. Uh, we'll just kind of just kind of skim through some of it, but it, it already looking. Uh, it, what caught? It, I mean. It, Looking promising from the get. That's why I wanted to check it out myself. Uh, so let's stop that screen share. Oh. Right. And already you get to kind of see some of the cleanup of the textures. Like a corpse in a shallow grave. <laughs> rises to the surface. And this is what I say, it's all you need is just a great HD texture pack from... the abyss, Razier. I have only spared you from total dissolution. Any way to get me to shut up, is this the... Look around you, oh. Razier. See what has become <laughs> of our empire. This place has outlasted its usefulness. As have you. I hope they cho the person put in different music just for the trailer, at least, because the regular music is just fantastic in this game. Beasts could not be kin of our high blood. I gotta say, it's looking. At, I mean, I wish I could have gotten to play it to really see it for myself, but even from this trailer, I'm li uh, liking this. It's probably taking some of the textures from uh, like Soul Reaver 2 and stuff from the Dreamcast versions. I think they had kind of touched it up for the, for that console. So yeah, uh, I didn't want to go too long on that one, but definitely something to uh, check out. Some, like I said, some positivity to get out there because you know you need. <sighs> You need right. some, and instead of a game getting remade or whatever, here you go, a remastered a, a texture pack that you can go download, still play, experience the original game the way it was intended, just a little prettier, a little sparked up, you know? So, um, yeah, go do that. 